All right, guys, before I start the video, I just want to show you I got some more supplies from Home Depot. I'm really excited about some of these things that I got for you guys um, and for my house. I got a few house upgrades right here, a couple switches, which I'm excited to install. So that was about 100 bucks. Anyways, let's jump into the video, which I'm going to show you today, which is just going to be one of those boxes on the ground. All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So I did, like I just said, went to Home Depot, got the box that I wanted to show you yesterday, which I showed you this one yesterday. So this would have been a better one to show you first, and then this one. Um, but anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead, pick a spot and show you guys how to do this. Um, I was gonna put this off until like midnight, but I figured uh, I'll put you guys first today. I've been putting you guys off and I apologize about that. Um, so anyways, this kind of has a spacer right here, which is probably about half an inch, um, probably a little bit less, maybe three eighths. But like I was saying yesterday, you want to make sure that this is going to be inside the wall. So if you're doing half inch sheetrock, you can measure that. That is almost half an inch, um, if you can see that. But um, you want to make sure it's in the wall. So if it's half an inch, it's going to be a little bit more. If it's five eighths, it's going to be a little bit more. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to take your tape measure like I was just doing and then mark out if you're doing a uh, half an inch you can mark it there if you're doing five eighths you can mark it there um, and then you can just stick your head on the other side over here actually you can't see that so if you if this camera was in the way I would stick my head right here and show you guys and then you just kind of I you line it up with the edge of the wall um, if you're doing half an inch, stick it on the half inch mark. If you're doing five eighths, pull it out a little bit more. Um, and that's an easy way to make sure that you're going to be inside the wall. It never hurts to go back a little bit. Some people are real particular on putting it right at the exact mark. And I like to go back a little bit because um, it never hurts to be inside the wall a little bit. But if you're outside the wall, then you're going to have a problem. So anyways, let's just say it's going to be half an inch. I can't really see that from here. But it is going to be just a teeny bit uh, teeny bit back behind this um, edge right here. And these nails are sticking out a little bit, so you can nail these back in there a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do, just say your light is right here. I'm gonna sharpie this real quick. So say my light is right there, and it's gonna be my light mark. So that's where a light needs to be at your job site. And then you do need to know if the mark is going to be the center of the light, the top of the light, but it's usually just going to be the center. That's how most job sites run. Uh, the mark is usually in the center of the box. So you're going to center that up as best as possible. And then once you put that on the mark, I'll bring it out a little bit to the half an inch. Just say you have half inch sheetrock. And all you're going to do is and then you're also gonna make sure, stick your head on the side and make sure it's not gonna be crooked at an angle. So you wanna make sure that this is flat against the wall. So like I said, you don't want it too much on one side or too much on the other side. You want it nice and level. And then, so there are, like I said, a few things you have to do. You have to check the height, check the depth, and you also have to check the levelness of it. So anyways, if you got all those things done, then you go ahead and nail it in and it kind of has some teeth right here so that might actually be the half inch mark um, but anyways i'm gonna bring it out to half an inch just like that center and it does look level right there so i'm just gonna go ahead and nail it in but this bar is kind of in the way um, and then once you do one side you can check it again and make sure it's not going um, unlevel anything like that and then you go ahead and nail that one in this I'm probably gonna have to take this bar off real quick um, before I nail that in for you guys so stand by all right so now that I have some room and just have this floating right here I'm gonna stick my head over here check it again make sure it's level 5 8 and then just go ahead and nail it in And if you do miss, you do have a high potential of cracking these because they're pretty fragile. Especially if you have the other kind, the fake and bake. It's like a kind of like a, not carbon fiber, but it's like a, I don't even know what it's made out of, but it's just really fragile. The other kind, it's like, it's fiberglass. And so if you miss, you're going to shatter it. But 
Um, these ones are a little bit stronger, but just try not to miss. And then maybe I'll make a video on how to take these off, but I'm not very good at taking these off. So they're usually garbage by the time they're gone, but I might go ahead and try to make a video on how to do that. Some tips on how to not destroy them, but I'm not very good at that. Anyways, that is the tutorial for today. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And um, one more thing, if it is sticking out a little bit on one side, because sometimes when you nail it, it kind of tends to turn out a little bit. You can just kind of push back on it or take your hammer and push on it a little bit or hit the nails and then that should bend it back a little bit as well. Like that and like that. So anyways, you can do that and then tighten it down again. Give it a hammer or two and that should do it. So hopefully that guys helps. Oh my gosh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, if you are not familiar with residential, um, hopefully you learned something. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video, and it would help the channel out. All right, guys, check the description for anything else, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Have a great rest of your night. God bless.